Okay, thank you everyone for tuning in. My name is Gerald Matarazzo. I'm the Additive Manufacturing Technical Solutions Specialist for CAD Dimensions, and I'll be the one that will be taking you through all the new information we have for you today. Uh, from Strass is one of the pioneers of 3D printing in the 3D printing industry. So let's get started. The agenda we have cooked up for you today, uh, we'll be going over some general information of the brand new system that we'll be talking about. Uh, as well as the materials, reliability, and comparisons between other systems that are out there, uh, some technical specifications, as well as use cases, the launch date of this actual system of machines, as well as some roadshows that we have coming up, and then a, a brief question and answer, uh, which we'll be doing live. So, uh, what are we talking about here? We're talking about a new system that was developed by Stratasys completely new level of integration and newly designed inside and out from the LCD uh, screen that you see in front of you right now, uh, the iconography being able to streamline and get the job done as fast as possible, increasing your throughput with the simplicity that they have uh, laid out for you here. There's also newly designed heads and other internal components of these machines, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. And this is all for the main goal of increasing your ability to rapid prototype, with the keyword rapid being here. So getting your parts and prototypes out as fast as possible while maintaining reliability and accuracy between parts. And the name of the system is the F-Series. And just to be clear, we're talking about three different systems here, the F-170, the F-270, and the F-370. They all actually have the same footprint, but there's other uh, metrics that are different, obviously, which we'll be looking at as well. So this is a result of 15 new patents developed by Strasis, as well as 43 existing Strasis patents, uh, 100,000 plus hours of reliability tests on the components of the machine, as well as 30,000 plus hours of testing on each individual material, which we'll be looking at as well. And this is all wrapped up with 300 print performance parameters that the machines were tuned and adjusted for to, again, ensure accuracy and reliability between each print that we have going on. And again, this is considered now the most reliable machine that's in the industry and in the space right now. So that's because we have, as already said, highly tested and optimized materials. Uh, being able to get that part consistency time and time again, uh, not having to wait for failed builds or anything like that that may happen with uh, some consumer level systems. Tight temperature uniformity, meaning that the inner workings of the machine are all locked tight and temperature controlled to ensure that consistency between the prints. We also have a rugged frame and enclosure. The exterior is very tough and durable, so the system can survive in some rougher manufacturing environments as well as office spaces. Anti-curl designs and features, meaning that because of that temperature uniformity that we already talked about and discussed, uh, there are no issues with layers removing themselves from one another or any of your parts delaminating or removing themselves from the bed itself. So again, you don't have any errors to worry about. We'll be talking about uh, how accurate the machine really is. We also have high performance durable components. So in addition to the newly designed heads, we also have new motors and belt systems. Uh, pretty much everything about this machine was redesigned outside and inside every square inch of it. And then once again, we have extreme performance and reliability testing, hundreds of thousands of hours on the machine itself, and 30 plus thousand hours between every material. So some general information. We have four new fill styles, meaning that uh, the, the extrusion method, the geometry of the extrusion that is laid down, you have four different types that you can work off of. You also have five support styles, uh, which will really be geared towards one specific material, PLA, which we'll be talking about later two different uh, spool sizes, and there's a new system developed for material changeover, which has now decreased that all the way down to less than 60 seconds. So in less than 60 seconds, you can switch out a spool of material and get printing again. Uh, this is an astounding accomplishment. Uh, we have never seen anything like this before. And we also have new auto calibrations, and once again, new print head and dry blocks that were calibrated and designed specifically for this use. Uh, now, the reason why this is so office-friendly is because it's very quiet, too. Uh, it's no louder than any desktop PC. You will actually forget that it is in the room if it's behind you long enough. We also have uh, double the throughput because of the speed factor 
mainly because this speed that we're talking about is 20 to 30 percent faster than a U-print, uh, which is a pretty incredible margin. We also have reduction on material costs per school, and uh, we have more engineering grade materials offered than any stress entry level system. So in addition to rapid prototyping, we also have the ability to create manufacturing aids, chicken fixtures, things like that. Now we're going to talk about some similarities and differences between the systems that we're talking about today. First off, all of them have GrabCAD software. So GrabCAD is this universal software company that was picked up by Stratasys a couple of years ago. Their goal is to be the hub for 3D printing, specifically for Stratasys level machines. So instead of having to go through three or four different types of software for your 3D printing process, it's one-stop shop for GrabCAD. And they have almost all of the Stratasys systems out and supported right now, uh, including some legacy systems. So all three of these systems have GrabCAD enabled. However, the 370 also has Insight, another different software uh, owned and developed by Stratasys, which allows for an even deeper level of customization uh, down to the individual layer heights. And one other thing about GrabCAD is it accepts native CAD files. So once again, eliminating the amount of software you actually need to go through, you can bring in anything from SolidWorks or any type of uh, CAD drawing software and go right into the print shop, including assemblies. Material bays, uh, the F-170 has two, whereas the 270 and 370 have four material bays. In terms of size, the 270 is 44% bigger than the 170. Uh, the 370 is 36% bigger than the 270, and is also 96% bigger than the F-170. So there's some metrics there to, to kind of get a size ID in your head. And followed by this chart here. So again, the footprint of the machine, the external size is the same between all three systems. However, the build volume is a little bit different. So we have 10 by 10 by 10 in inches for the 170, 12 by 10 by 12 for the 270. For the 370, we have 14 by 10 by 14. Now materials. We have a new material to introduce. Uh, this is PLA. I'll be talking about that more in depth in a little bit. We have the standard ABS as well as a superior version of that slightly, uh, ASA, and a new type of support material called QSR. Layer thicknesses go from 13 to 13 thou all the way down to 5 thou based on the material that you're printing with. And accuracy, just to sum up the accuracy, we can get 10 thou 100% of the time and 5 thou 95% of the time. And th these systems were all geared towards replacing the dimension family of, of printers that we have here. So I'll leave that on the screen for a few moments just so you can see the comparisons uh, of what we have going on here. So moving on. Uh, fast draft mode. This is one of the key features of this new system. This allows you to print uh, with two-thirds less material as opposed to the normal build parameters and build modes. It's also two to five times faster than other types of printers that are out there in the entry level market. And two times the speed of the basic build mode as, as, as I've already mentioned. And using PLA, our cost effective or our most cost, cost effective material, you could get costs down tenfold. And again, this is all uh, geared and used within GrabCAD print software, which you go up grabcad.com, you look further into that, and there's a couple of the features of the GrabCAD uh, system there, but GrabCAD print is actually free, and you can download a beta today. So a little bit about the materials. Uh, first up, we have QSR support, otherwise known as Quick Support Release. Now, this is a soluble support that's available on ABS, ASA, and PC ABS. Uh, a couple things about this, as, com as compared to SR30, it's actually faster, so it dissolves itself faster in the bath and actually extends the bath life. So you're going to get a lot more out of the support than you did SR30. PLA is our most economical material. It's the cheapest, and you'll be able to uh, do a lot more because of that in terms of cost and speed, especially with fast draft mode. We have uh, ABS balance properties in regards to mechanical operations and properties that you want to prototype and do functional testing with. We have ASA, which has slightly better mechanical properties than ABS. It also has ultraviolet or UV stability, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And then finally, we have PCABS, which is uh, the engineering grade thermoplastic we have today. Tough, temperature resistant, uh, stronger than all the rest that we talked about. So a little bit about ASA. Uh, because of that UV stability that we already mentioned, it has outdoor capabilities. It also has the best aesthetics of all FDM thermoplastics and has superior bridging capability. And by that, we mean 
you can sparse out parts more, which then leads you to get the same type of external geometry of your part uh, while saving a lot more material. And this is really great for applications like investment casting where you want a light, uh, not so dense part when, when trying to get that end of use application. And again, it has superior mechanical capabilities versus typical ABS. PC ABS, which by the way is only available on the 370, uh, has superior strength to ABS and ASA and engineering grade material. So this is really great for automotive and aerospace. One great example being the NASA Mars rover, which has over 70 FDM parts made of PC ABS on it. And all the yellow, uh, the yellow components that are highlighted in some of those still pictures are all PC ABS and there's way more than that. And it's really good for functional testing as well as manufacturing aids. Manufacturing aids mean jigs and fixtures. Uh, pretty much over 85% of our customers use their printers for manufacturing aids, and it's one of the easiest ways to reach ROI as quick as possible. And here's another example here of automotive, uh, Polaris snowmobiles. They design almost every external component minus the electrical using PC ABS and an FDM printer. PLA. So PLA is actually its own support material. So it changes up the geometry when extruding support versus what is going to be left as the raw model. And the way it extrudes that geometry for the support, it allows it for much easier breakaway, uh, enabling it, you to pull that away manually much easier than previously seen. We also have this made out of renewable resources, meaning it's biodegradable. It has good tensile strength for basic prototyping or concept uh, design verification validation. It's also very cost effective as already noted. Again, cost savings tenfold with this type of material. And it comes in 11 different colors, some of them being transparent for some very interesting different types of applications depending on what your industry is. Use cases. So the primary use cases when dealing with the F-Series overall with all the different materials, specifications, softwares that we talked about today, uh, one of the biggest being concept verification followed by design validation. We also have functional performance and manufacturing is once again meaning Jason fixtures with the first three falling under rapid prototyping. Again, rapid being one of the, the, the key words here that we're talking about. Speed is a huge factor with the machines. Throughput is a huge factor. Streamlining the whole 3D printing process, reducing the amount of time you have to actually be in front physically of the machine, reducing the amount of time you have to deal and work with different softwares and parts. This is all being streamlined, both with GrabCAD and more importantly, with the F-Series that we have today. Now, uh, one customer story we have here is a company by the name of CADTD, which stands for the Center for Advanced Design Product Development. Uh, the CEO, we have Mark McCauley, and the president is Jesse Hahn, and they had a couple comments about the F-Series. They were one of the beta testers of this technology. Uh, so here with some of the stills, you see them making a motocross helmet, and uh, Mark, the CEO, said they were able to get brand new iterations done in a matter of hours. And they've been in the game of 3D printing for about 10 years now, and this is the fastest machine that they've ever had. And Jesse, the president, had some comments to say. So uh, basically, he said that the key to fast track product development is getting these physical samples in front of our customers as soon as possible. And one great quote from uh, a segment of GE that uses FDM is how a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, a prototype is worth a thousand meetings, so this really falls into place. And if you notice in the bottom right still, uh, their F-Series 370 is actually within their design studio. So it's in an office environment, and it's being utilized for those specific services. So just to kind of summarize what we talked about very briefly today, uh, a couple big things. Hundreds of thousands of hours of research and testing between the actual components of the, the machine and the materials that we had in place. The three main factors we want to talk about and really highlight here are speed, silence, and savings. Uh, specialized software, again, going to GrabCAD and Insight, being able to get those parts on your machine, scheduled, organized, with even reporting analytics to show your consumption rates, as well as remote monitoring of parts using GrabCAD and their mobile apps. It really is a game changer when it comes to this stuff. And we have better accuracy materials and costs than previously seen in this type of entry-level market. And just to reiterate this once again, best use cases are rapid prototyping and manufacturing aids. And going back to all this research and testing, all the time, the man hours, the labor put into making this uh, led the F-Series to be the most tested, the most strenuously tested 
printer group and printer series in Strassus history that have never done as much testing as they have before than on the F series. Now, where it launches, it launches today. So you can place the order starting today. Uh, you have all this information now available on strassus.com as well as caddimensions.com and it starts shipping March 1st. So starting in March, uh, these systems will be shipped out to all the consumers, first come, first serve. So the sooner you get an order in, the faster you'll be able to get your machine. Now, if you want to learn more about this and you want to see the machine in person, you need to come to one of our road shows. So these will be sprinkled throughout the month of March, uh, the first one up being uh, on the 8th in Huntington, New York. That's Long Island. The 9th is going to be in Philadelphia. The 14th, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The 15th, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The 28th, Syracuse, New York. And then it all ends with the 29th in Rochester, New York. And you could go up on caddimensions.com forward slash events to sign up for some of these events. You can also uh, call caddimensions.com, go on their website, and get in touch with one of our uh, support people to learn more about this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything about what was discussed today, please feel free to email me on the email shown on your screen right now. And again, my name is Gerald Matarazzo. I'm the Added Manufacturing Technical Solutions Specialist at CAD Dimensions. And thanks very much for listening. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we really hope that you enjoyed the F-Series. Take care. Bye. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.